right, let's talk Terence Crawford. Oh yeah. Pound for pound number one, uh, was undisputed at 147 pounds. I don't even know if he's gonna fight at 147. I don't think he's fighting at 147. I don't again. think he's gonna has fight. Has he vacated again. every belt? No, he hasn't vacated every belt. The yeah. IBF is gone, yeah. but Dennis has that. But I think he still has all the other titles. Okay. And he's just used his status, for want of a better word, as yeah. the BBO champion to get a crack at the champion with the BBO at 154, yeah. who is obviously now Fondora. Yeah, okay, cool. Um, the reason I asked that question is because I, I thought I saw something the other day with Stanley Onis and Barrios. I, I think I saw them fighting for titles, but it might have been interim. I think yeah. it might have been interim or international attached to that. I, I just remember seeing sort of W, sorry, 147, 147, but you're right, it probably is a case of interim titles um yeah uh crawford looks like he's in training mm -hmm. um we haven't seen crawford since he fought errol spence and i think that's a travesty i think it's it's a joke i can't believe i it. mean the fight of the year you won it like that you should be in the ring again five six months later and it isn't the case um crawford will it looks like fight 154 pounds you mentioned sebastian fendora i think a lot of people thought tim zoo was going to win and i think we we're trying to get tim zoo yeah. versus crawford in terms of the fendora fight if you are Crawford, is that the fight you want? I don't know. It, it's I guess it's they not had sexy, is it? it? No, it doesn't have this. Tim Zhu had that, that had, Tim something. had something. That had something had to something. it. When you yeah. heard that, you were like, "Yeah, that has something." With Fondora, you're kind of like, "Oh, yeah, all right." That's yeah. that, that's to really go from how it is. Errol Spence undisputed fight to Fondora, who stepped in late notice to get yeah. the win. And look, this is no dig at Fondora because no. Fondora is a tough. SOB, Fendora oh, is yeah. very, very tough, man. But it just, at this stage of Crawford's career, what is he, 37? 37, it's crazy. Yeah, 37, I know, it's crazy, right? Because he, he doesn't still, look that, he still look, looks fantastic, lives the life. But at this stage of his career, it's only surely got to be super fights. It has and to And this is certainly not a super fight. Caught on the back of the narrow spends win, and in that manner, and yeah. everyone talking about you, you, you almost can't, you almost feel like for Crawford, it's like, I can't just go and fight a Fondora, no disrespect to him. Yeah. It has to be a massive fight. Yeah. Tim Zhu was a big fight. Yeah. Fondora isn't. Mm. So now you're looking at, and he's obviously going to go to 154 because I don't think he can do welterweight anymore. He's been there for six years. Yeah, yeah. Body's outgrown. He's mm -hmm. 37. But you do kind of look at the 154 division and you're like, it's not, there's not many big fights there. Unless like say Charlo could move back that, down. That, that, that's, that's the one. That's the one. That's the one. That's, that, that's the one. For, well, there's two. There's Charlo and there's Spence. Spence. But Charlo's the one just because... <laughs> Charlo got beat up by Canelo, yeah. but he didn't get beat up the way Spence got beat up by Crawford. See, that's the thing. And he's got the built-in excuse of he went to 168 from 154. It's a big jump. Canelo's undisputed. Canelo has never lost at 168. So you've got that kind of built-in. Mm -hmm. um, but Charlo, both Charlos have vanished, basically. Well, Jamal's kind of around, but Jamal's just disappeared since the Canelo fight. Yeah, since the Canelo fight, I don't think I've heard a peep. I haven't it's, nothing. It's nothing. Like radio silence. And that doesn't really, that doesn't bode well. That no. kind of says to me that he's probably got one foot out the door. Yeah. So we can talk about Charlo, but realistically, do we think we'll get it? You mentioned Spence, mm. right? As one-sided as the fight was. Very one-sided. Very one-sided. Yeah. I reckon if they did do a rematch and they did announce it at 154, you probably would have a lot of people saying, you can no, sell it. we go for it, we could sell it. You because they use the weight, 100%. stuff like that. And they'd say, like, look, he wasn't the same. It's going to be it, the fight we should have got. We're yeah. getting it now. They'll probably use that. 100%. And I remember seeing Spence in the ring after the Fendora Tim Zhu fight. And Spence is back. Mm. Spence is back. Um, I don't know if he's still with Derek James, by the way. I'm not quite sure. I heard some rumor about potentially so that them going their separate ways. But you've got a couple of built in excuses. Because mm. I heard training camp was awful for really? Errol Spence. Like, I heard it was really bad. I heard the weight cut was really bad as well. Don't. Let me not take away from what Terence Crawford no, did because, you know, not. no one has a great fight camp, right? No one goes into the ring 100%. But you've got that if you are Team Spence. All right, let's roll it back again at 154. And it's the biggest fight financially for both as well. It's a massive fight financially for both. And for us fans, I know it was one-sided, but I'm not going to lie. I, I, I'd watch it. I'd watch, watch it again. again. I'd 100% watch that again. I'd be more intrigued because I'd be like, right, I would favour Crawford how it went. But it's like, okay weight can make a big difference. Yeah. Let's see how it goes at 154. Yeah. And I actually think, obviously, look, this is 154. I know the Canelo fight's been floated and people talk about it and we'll get to that. That's the super fight of all That's super it. fights, which I don't think will happen. The problem for him as well is that there are no big names at 160. No. So even if he wanted to jump to 160, he's not going to fight Alan Canali. There's nothing at 160 for him. Crawford's in a weird position. I was going to say, like, he is because welterweight is really the only other weight division he can go to to get mm. big fights. Like, Tennis. Yeah. But when you look at 154, Spence, Charlo, 
and had Tim Zhu won, yeah. there you go, there's three fights. Mm. But there's not anything else. No. And then you look at 160 and it's even less. You're mm. like, Eubank, not, it's not a big fight, sorry. There was, there was actually talk about it, you know. Yeah, there was talk about it. And it was legit talk as well because I know the people in Dubai that were trying to put this on. And it wasn't a case of they were just throwing it out there. There were legit conversations happening between Crawford's team and Eubank's team. That then, again, goes back to the point of there is no one out there, so they're trying to that's fight with anyone. all you can do, yeah. 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 There's no one between, between yourself and Canelo, two weight divisions, and apart from maybe two fights or three fights at 154, there's literally no big fights. Yeah. So you're going in and you're just going to, and where's the incentive then? Because you're going in and yeah, you're fighting guys and you're trying to make another run of a champion in another weight division, but you want these big pay-per-view, big paydays, big events. They're just not there. Well, the, the, the biggest pay-per-view event then would be and it's, it's an obvious one as well. If Crawford goes to 154 and wins, and mm -hmm. I think he can beat Sebastian Fundora, and I think yeah, he yeah. will, I think he will do the same jump that Jamel did. I think so. Because I think Canelo will beat Munguia, and I don't think Canelo wants anything to do with Benavidez. No. I think you go Canelo Crawford 168 in September. <sighs> I, <laughs> Dude. I can see the, it. The, in, well, if Jamel done the jump. I know, yeah. If Jamel can do the jump, and if Crawford's a 154 champion, the jump doesn't sound as crazy anymore. No. It 147 just... to 168 sounds nuts. It's stupid. But 154 to 168, it's still stupid, but it's not as stupid. It's not as bad. It's, it's not as bad. But I just can't... You know what, right? I love Terence Crawford. Probably one mm. of my favourite fighters. I think he is just a genius in there. Yeah. But I, you know when it's like you hear about a fight and you're like, right, I'd love to see it, but I'm just like, that's too much of a jump, even it, for him. It, and, and it is. And it's, it's, it's too much of a jump at 37. At 37 I think he might years be 38 old. by the time that fight, if it were to roll around, it's, it's too much of a jump at that much. age. Like if he's a, a young 31 year old, fair. And you've got to put the weight on correctly as well. Exactly. You, you know can't what I mean? You can't just on. pile on an extra, what, 16, 17 pounds. It just, it's not going to, it's not going to work. It's actually probably going to just, not even benefit you in the slightest, they'll take away from you. Mm. And that fight, do you know what's weird though? I look at that fight and I'd be like, I'd favour Canelo, but only slightly. That's how good Crawford is. That's crazy. That's how crazy well, talented then, then, he is. Then it could happen. Then Probably. it can happen. Money talks. Money does talk. Money talks. And Crawford, for as good as he is, being two times undisputed, right? 140, 147. His bank balance doesn't reflect how good he is. No, like Crawford's bank balance should be ridiculous. So it could just be a case of yes, it's very risky, but let's 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 cash in. Yeah, let's cash let's in. Let's cash yeah. in, and that's a fight. I think we both know. I mean, that one million pay per view numbers. No one. It's hard to get over. That could do that it. flies that could do over it. a million pay per view buys. Oh yeah. yeah, that could do that. And as I said, what other big fight is there in the vicinity sad. other than a couple of one fifty four? There's sad literally that. nothing. That's quite sad, nothing. isn't it? There's it's, nothing for him. It's mental. And even people say Boots Ennis, and I, I get the Boots Ennis argument, but I mean, if you're Crawford, you're not going to fight Boots. What would you get out of fighting Boots? Well, I think if you do, I, I would counter argue that. If you fought Boots Ennis, yeah. I see it as a Mayweather Canelo because I think Boots is going to have an incredible career. Mm. And if you're the one to beat him early in his career and he has an incredible career, look how good the win for Mayweather. Good shout. Look how good that Canelo win is aged for Floyd Mayweather. I like it. I like what you're doing. Because Canelo was done so much and Floyd's like well I beat him first mm. do, you, do you think if that were to happen and, and Eddie would be praying to God it does do, <sighs> do you almost think that Canelo like what Floyd did sorry do you think that Crawford like what Floyd did would say let's do it at 151 no do you think he would go to 147 no he'd do I, I think he'd do the 147 because so he would I, go and fight for a belt that he already won I think he would just for the sake just of just for the sake of it up. just for the sake of it because yeah. then I think with the Canelo situation, that always is kind of chucked back at Floyd. That, you know, it was at a catch weight. That's always going to be chucked yeah. back. Whereas if, if Crawford does it against Ennis, and it's just the 147, no ifs or buts, no rehydrate, no anything, that'll age like a fine wine. You know, as good as Ennis is, and I think he's insane, Amazing. having seen Crawford up close and personal against Errol Spence, I'm sorry, that guy's a genius, mate. Like what, he, what he did to Errol Spence... It's like I, I I give Ennis a chance, but I'm talking a very slim one because a determined Crawford. It's scary. Is, forget about it. But it, the talent he has and it's age. He's getting older and better. It's yeah. insane. And he's strong. He wrestles. You know, everyone talks about because he's quite wiry. He's very yeah. Thomas Hearns like, but he's actually physically he's come so up the strong. Weights. He's come up through the weights correctly, the right time. He's made those jumps at the right time as well, which always prolongs your career. 
clearly lives the life. I, I, I'm a massive Crawford fan. I think he can do anything against anyone between 154 and 168. I really do. I know it sounds a bit crazy, but I honestly think he could cause Canelo serious problems. Oh, serious. If, to fight. if Canelo went in there and he wasn't 100%, he's done. He's in for a... He's in for a bad night. He's in for a bad night because the fisherman is going to go fishing. Well, you think about it like this. The people who've always given Canelo trouble are beating him. Crawford has a little bit of every of that. He yeah. can move like a Mayweather and a Lara. He can punch a little bit. He can counter punch. He can throw combinations. No, 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 no. The footwork Punch a everything. little bit. He can punch, punch. Oh, he can punch, punch. We don't associate him with a 1KO artist. He's not that kind of... But he can... Like, I've never seen Errol hurt like that. No. I, I know Ugas did it a little bit, but he hurt Errol a lot. Every opponent at 147, he stopped. He's never gone the distance. So, take He's your never thing back the then. He can punch. He can punch. He can punch. All right, guys. Uh, G-Man's channel. Uh, the link to his channel is in the description. Make sure you go and subscribe. Uh, we're going to try and do more of these. We're gonna, we, we got, we've got to. We've just got to do we've more got of to. these. We've got to. Do you guys want to do, want to see more asking. of these? Want to see more of these? I think you do.